Welcome. Um, last Tuesday, Mark uh, met with me and told me that he was feeling fatigued. In fact, burned out at the end of the season and wasn't sure that he would continue as senior coach in 2011. We gave him time to consider his position and come back to us so that we could move forward as quickly as possible. And we suggested that um, he come back to us before the trade the trade week started and starts tomorrow and Mark has kept his word Mark today met with Frank Costa met Frank this morning and advised the club that he would be resigning as our coach effective immediately over the past 11 years the team has enjoyed an outstanding run of success under Mark's coaching in that time Geelong has won more games than any other team with 161 victories made the final seven times and won two premierships from three grand finals. We thank Mark for all of his efforts in that time. Mark created history at this club and he'll be remembered for that by a lot of people. We have all been on a magnificent, a wonderful journey for the past decade, led by Mark. However, from today we're on a new journey. We thank Mark for all of his efforts in that time. The club has today formed a working group that will recommend to the board our next coach. The group comprises Neil Baum, Steve Hocking, board members Gareth Andrews and Diana Taylor and myself. We expect to have the new coach in place before the, before the team returns to training in mid-November. Questions? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but it had to be made. I'm ready to stop coaching. Um, been here 11 years and it's been a time of my life, really. Met some unbelievable people. and But I just you just know in your heart when it's time to give up. And uh, yeah, I just want to get back and <coughs> do a few other things. Have you had a special relationship with your players? Yeah, look, it's, uh, you know in your heart you've got to make the decision to tell people. Uh, it was really hard talking to Frank this morning, Brian last Monday, uh, the people you work with, um, players. Uh, yeah, it's just a really hard thing to do, but um, yeah, I've just got tired of coaching. I don't want to coach anymore. So. Was there one incident that said it's all wild? No, not really. I think each year it's got harder. And, you know, as I said, we've, had, uh, we've built the club from a long way back and we've got it in a fantastic position. And... There's no question that you know, I'm leaving today, uh, but the club still got is a, still a fantastic club. We haven't taken our eyes off the ball as far as uh, developing young talent and rec recruiting the best talent we can. And you know, we've got some really exciting players at the club, and I'm sure the next coach and the people here, and it's bigger than me, um, the people here will will uh, will get it right. And that's one thing that we've been able to do over the years. Is every year we. We, uh, we finish, we aspire to be better and I think we've done that um, year after year and the real challenge now is to find a coach who's got that, that um, energy and the, the, uh, the skills to take the club forward and that's not me and I'm walking away um, you know, from a contract and it's uh, because I don't feel I can give that commitment. Mark, you, you did some great things as a player at Essendon and now as a coach at the moment, what's your past home? I think winning the 2007 Premiership was one of the best days of my life. Um, yeah, it's just, it was just a fairy tale. Uh, a club that hasn't won one in 44 years. To see the smiles on people like Frank Costa's face and Alex Popescu and all the long life's Geelong supporters that have just uh, been through a long period of their life, uh, to put smiles on their faces, to see the happiness uh, was just something that will never leave me.